Hi guys, uh, this is the part two of the Mission PGI video series. I'll be dealing with two uh, important uh, points in this video. Uh, first is the marking scheme of the uh, PGI exam and uh, second is the time management issue. So first thing is uh, how exactly is the PGI paper marked and what implications uh, do we need to understand that will affect us. So first thing uh, that we already know, uh, as I discussed in the previous video, that PGI exam has 250 questions, each with a set of five options. So all in all, there are 1,250 options, uh, which include both correct and incorrect options. Now the marking of uh, PGI is important to understand because ultimately, if we know how the options are marked, then only we'll be able to make a correct decision on how many options to mark. So this is a set of 1250 options. Now suppose in the paper, in the question paper, uh, out of these 1250, 650 options are correct, right? So the number of right options is 650 and the number of wrong options is 600. Now, a student attempted 550, right? He total the total attempted uh, number of options is 550, out of which 400 were right and 150 were wrong. All right. F out of these 550 attempted options, 400 turned out to be right and 150 were wrong. So how a score will be calculated is the number of right options which the student marked upon the total number of right options in the question paper, right? This minus the number of wrong options made by the student divided by the number of actual wrong in the question paper, right? So this will give us the total score of the uh, examinee. Now this will come out to be around 61.5 and this will come out to be around uh, 25. Okay. So now if you see that the number of options which we made uh, wrong will actually bring our score down. Right. So according to this marking scheme, our net score would be 36.5. Okay. Uh, this is all in percentage. So the net percentage of ours would be 36.5. So you see this, the number of wrong options that we make, make a pretty big chunk out of which our total score is decided. So the more the f this figure goes up, the more our net score comes down. So this is an important point that you need to consider while writing this exam is that the difference between PGI and the other entrance exams is because of this dynamic factor, see this 650 right and 600 wrong is not pre-decided for each question paper. This ratio is different. This figure can be 500, 700, this figure can be 600, 650, right? So this figure can change. And based on this figure, your score will drastically change. So you need to understand that because of this dynamic schema of marking, the ultimate, ultimate uh, take home message is that the negative marking in PGI is very high right? You need to understand this point. Usually it comes out to be very high. So you need to be cautious while marking options as even, you know, uh, it said that the number of right options do not decide your rank as much as the number of wrong options you make, right? Someone who has done less right than you, but also comparatively lesser wrong options than you will get a better rank than you. So you need to be cautious of this fact and you need to, you know, be alert about the fact that there is a very high negative marking uh, in this exam. All right. Now, the next thing is, uh, this is uh, the basic overview of the marking schema. 
the next thing that is important is the time management factor. We know that the PG, PGI exam is uh, of three hours duration, right? And there are 1250 options that you must go through in these three hours. Now, if you see practically three hours is a very limited time for one to carefully see, analyze and then mark on an OMR sheet out of these 1250 options, whatever correct option he feels. So time is a very, very important factor. And most people who are giving this exam for the first time are not able to complete the paper only because of this and they do not get good ranks. So if you're writing this paper for the first time or you've written it before, be alert that time is of paramount importance in a PGI exam. A, a, you know, a good dictum or a, a good rule for adhering to time is that every half an hour, you should complete at least 50 questions, right? 50 questions every half an hour will at the end of two and a half hours, you should be done with the paper so that you're left with half an hour. However, practically, uh, this requires a lot of practice. But once you get to this mark, uh, you'll be fairly good to go. And you'll be able to do your paper in a better manner. So try and adhere to this rule as far as possible. Half an hour, 50 questions and uh, time should not be a constraint for you. Uh, this uh, in this video, I have briefly discussed the marking schema, uh, the pitfalls, what not to do and uh, as well as the time management factor. Uh, next video, I'll be discussing uh, the subject wise distribution of the PGI exam and uh, what take home message can we take from that. So this will be all. Uh, thank you.